Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We'll be starting angles chapter number 12. This is new syllabus Oxford book 5. So be with us. We'll be doing it step by step. We'll try to make it very easy for you. So follow us. We'll be talking in English for your convenience because this is Oxford book. So let's start. Uh, first you need to know what is angle. Angle is formed when two straight lines, two straight lines, okay, they meet, meeting at a point, okay. So when, let's suppose this is the point, so if there is one line straight, okay, and this is straight, so these two lines are meeting here and this point so this is called angle okay again if this is a point if one line straight is like this and one is like this so they are meeting on this point so this is called angle okay what is the definition of angle when two straight lines okay if line is like this and this one is like this, this is not an angle because this is not a straight line. Okay. If this is a straight line and this one is like this, so this is again not an angle because this is not a straight line. So the necessary condition is that there must be two straight lines and the second condition is, is that they must be meeting at a single point. Then this is called angle. Okay. Uh, the point where they meet, okay, the point of meeting of two straight lines is called vertex, V-E-R-T-E-X, vertex. So it means that the two straight lines meeting at a point the name of that point is called vertex. So if this is a straight line and this is a straight line, they are meeting at this point. Let's suppose this is O. So this O is called, this point is called vertex because here two straight lines are meeting and this is the angle formed. Okay. So you need to keep in mind what is the angle and you need to keep in mind what is the vertex. Now how to name the angle? How to name an angle, okay, uh, if these are two straight lines, okay, they are meeting at point B, this is C, this is A. So there may be different ways to name this angle, okay. The name of this angle, okay, we can say if we start from here, it must be, this, this is the vertex, vertex must be in the middle, okay. If we start from here, C, B, A, this, this is, this symbol is for angle, okay, C, B, A, C, B, A, this B is in the middle, okay, so the name of this angle is angle C, B, A, this is for angle, okay, and if we start from here, then we say A, B, C, again, B is in the middle, so B must be in the middle, okay, or otherwise, we can also name any other alphabet as well. If we say that this is angle X or we can say that this is angle A. So, we can give any name to the angle. But if we keep in mind this ABC, so this is the way to name the angle. Always B must be in the middle. So, this is how to name the angle. So, now... So far we have studied what is angle, what is vertex and how to name an angle. Now then next, uh, next uh, topic is angle on a straight line. Okay, we will be studying angle, angles on a straight line. This is on page number 239. So it says, 
that if there is any straight line okay so when we make semi circle like this okay or we, we will say that when two points meet like this okay this is semi circle okay you know the semi circle so this angle formed is called is equal to 180 this angle is 180 so I, i'll tell you again if we do it like this so the angle from here to here okay this will be 180 if this is called perpendicular this line is called perpendicular okay so half of this is 90 and half of this is 90 and this this semicircle is equal to 90 plus 90 180 okay so angle on a straight line is always of 180 degree here you can see on page number 239 let's learn the number one point and number two point okay so here they have given you the this uh, the examples okay so they have mentioned the sum sum in plus the sum of angles on a straight line is equal to 180 the sum of angles on a straight line is equal to 180 uh, we will study this topic in detail so we'll be doing it in the uh, next video